person's self-esteem, where sometimes he feels that he's very low and sometimes he feels really confident and good about himself, has the necessary resources in order to deal with life, and sometimes he really doesn't. How does my attitude toward myself help a person in his development? Of course, if a person has high self-esteem, this can give him a lot of strength to ascend, but it can also blind him, and to the contrary. A person whose self-esteem is low, then he doesn't have the strength to advance, but he also won't jump too much and won't do foolish things. This is a problem. We're not teaching people, we're not, more correctly put, educating them how to artificially change, because this is how they are. How to artificially change with the help of exercises, the environment, their self-esteem. And it's a problem. And therefore we have so many people that are depressed, so many people that use antidepressants of different kinds and so on, use drugs. Low self-esteem is not good. Who am I? What am I for? Life is useless. Everything's worthless. How many people commit suicide? And on the other hand, we also have to protect the person so that, on the one hand, his self esteem won't be too high because then he'll do lots of foolish things. He'll get into lots of problems and trouble because he won't see the situation for what it is and might make big mistakes, not even to mention countries and nations that also have self-esteem, not only particular people, but societies, nations, countries, and so on, they too have a high or low self-esteem. And you have to also give them tools in order to know how to balance themselves so that they will advance correctly in life. Were I to ask you, how would you define a balanced, a person's balanced self-esteem? A balanced self-esteem is that, first of all, I know what's the goal, what should I advance toward and what should I reach? Where am I supposed to develop, towards what? And then, accordingly, it could be a battlefield, it could be an exam, it could be family life, marriage, work, who knows? It could be anything. I have to be in between these two states and to always see how much I am and how much I'm not and how can I really get use out of the two states of yes and no, meaning a high and low self-esteem. And in relation to what, is it high and low? That both have to give me the power to advance. That's the main thing. The result of both of the two is the motivating force, inner motivating force.